there's a phenomenon that people are not aware of, which is the exponential progression of information technology outside of these devices we carry around. For example, health and medicine is going to be transformed by biotechnology, which is applying the exponential progression of information technology to biology. The, the enabling factor for that was the Genome Project that was a perfect exponential, and that's now beginning to influence clinical practice. Uh, we're starting to see profound uh, new therapies created by reprogramming the outdated software of life. Uh, and that's a completely different uh, methodology than health and medicine has used in the past. Health and medicine's basically been hit or miss. We kind of find things uh, that happen to work. We didn't have the means of really reprogramming the software of life. Uh, that is now becoming a reality, and that's an exponential progression. These technologies are now a thousand times more powerful than they were when the general project was completed a decade ago, or more than a decade ago. They'll be another thousand times more powerful in 10 years. It's gonna profoundly transform health and medicine. But people use the linear models of the past that yes, we've been making slow linear progress because of the methodology we use was hit or miss. It's completely changing now. Uh, exponentials look like nothing is happening. It's very slow. Uh, and then when you reach the knee of the curve, they, they kind of take off. We're just approaching that now in health and medicine. So looking at the sort of linear progression of say life expectancy uh, over the last century is not a good uh, indicator of what's going to happen because we have this exponential progression that's about to descend on us and it's going to be a tsunami of innovations in, in health and medicine. And I call that the second bridge. The third bridge is uh, nanotechnology where we'll go beyond the limitations of biology. The, the quintessential application there is medical nanorobots that will extend our immune system. Our immune system evolved 50,000 years ago when conditions were very different. It was now in the interest of the human species for us to live very long. Life expectancy was 19 a thousand years ago. So our, our T cells don't go after things that get us later on in life, like cancer and things. So oh, that's me and doesn't treat it as a pathogen. Uh, it doesn't work on retroviruses, doesn't work on prions. We can create a medical nanorobot that goes against all pathogens, also fixes problems with organs. Lots of diseases are metabolic diseases with a malfunction of our organs. I mean, what do all these organs do anyway? They basically put things in the bloodstream and they take things out. The lungs put in oxygen, take out carbon dioxide. The kidneys take out toxins. The entire digestive tract puts in nutrients. All these different hormonal organs like the pancreas put in, put out uh, hormones like insulin. Lots of diseases have to do with malfunctions in those processes. Another function of these medical nanorobots can be to monitor the bloodstream for optimal levels of all these substances and puts them in, takes them out, augment, even replace the function of all the organs. There's actually a very detailed scenario and designs for how to overcome every disease and aging process once we have the enabling factor of these medical nanorobots. And we know exactly how to create the medical nanorobots if we have the enabling factor of being able to do atomically precise manufacturing. That's coming. We'll have that by, well, I've been saying the, the early 2030s, that's increasingly looking conservative. We may have it in the 2020s. Uh, but that's the third bridge. Uh, the second bridge is basically just reprogramming our biology by turning genes on, turning them off, uh, reprogramming stem cells to, for example, grow new organs. That's actually being done now successfully in animals. I'm involved with a company where we're growing lungs, kidneys, and hearts and installing them in animals. That's coming to a human near you. So there's gonna be very profound transformations. That's just medicine. 3D printing is gonna print out all the physical things we need. We'll be able to create food very inexpensively, very high quality without chemicals using AI controlled vertical agriculture. And there's revolutions coming in every industry. We ultimately will be able to provide the physical needs of human life for everyone at very low cost.